All right, so the second tip is this one here, and that's kind of modifying the, the custom design theme colors. Uh, what we want to do is just look at a couple of things, uh, but I'll talk through the design uh, theme colors uh, quickly. And again, you have the resource document and a previous webinar to learn more about that. But in this particular case, in the community, somebody had built uh, one of these types of question interactions. So we're going to preview this. So there's a drop down question interaction. And there are a few of these types of interactions in Storyline where when you select it, you can see you have this hover color and this uh, to indicate that you're moving your mouse over that selection. And the hover colors kind of got that tealish blue color. Over here, you'll see this is a button that was inserted on the screen because we're going to change two things. But you can, you can see this color. And this again, this is a pre-built interaction. And then this color may not work with your brand color. So the question was, well, how do I get a different color? So that's where you can modify it in the design theme colors. Uh, one of the things I do is I could just uh, from my perspective is I like to use a very subtle color for the for the hover. So I may use like a very light gray because it's neutral and it'll work with any color. Uh, but of course, you can use any color that you want to use. Uh, regardless of the color you choose, we're going to lighten it up a little bit so you have some contrast so you can actually see the choice as you're hovering over. And then the button on here I added because when you insert a button, which we're going to do here. So if I go to insert and I choose button, I'm going to insert a button here. By default, it comes in as a blue a color. And so where does that blue color come from? And what if I want all my buttons to be the same color, right? So buttons should probably look a little bit different than other objects on your screen. So I may want all my buttons to be red or all my buttons to be blue or black or whatever it is, right? So I can modify that in the theme colors as well. So let's go ahead and delete this button we just created. So we're going to come up to Design tab right here. I'm going to click on that. And if I come over here, there's my Design Theme Colors. So I'm going to select that. Now by default, the design theme colors is probably going to be Office if you haven't selected a template or built your own colors. You can't edit these. I can't like right click and edit those. Uh, so what I'd want to do is create a new theme color. And I'll call this Delete Today. So I know I need to get rid of it. So that's the title of my theme. And then I can come in here and make modifications to all of these. We're not going to go through all the details here. What we want to do is look at two features. One is the custom one. The other one is custom two. So you'll notice that kind of tealish blue. That's that hover color. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a very light gray. And, and then this custom one is that blue color that came from the button. So let's say I want all my buttons to be black. So I'm going to go ahead and choose or maybe a little off gray right there. So it's not quite black and hit OK. And now you can see it changed that button to black. And then it also when we preview this, you'll see that drop down should be a, a lighter gray. And then you can see we've got the gray color in there. So I again, I like the gray versus the color because it's neutral and then it'll work with any color, but you can make it any color you want to. And now you can see the button is also black. So anytime you add a button, you know, depending on the color that you selected for buttons, anytime you add a button, that button is going to be black. And then we say you know, button, right? Uh, so that's basically it. Let's go back to the design theme color. So go back to that design tab. And we're going to go to colors. Now, because I created that, and this says delete today, that's the one we just created. I can see that it's in my custom uh, tab right here. So we're going to go ahead and right click, and that'll let me edit it. So then I might say, okay, well, I actually want my theme, my buttons to be um, purple, right? And then maybe on this theme colors here, the the customer actually wanted those to be uh, light green. So hit OK. And then you can see now the buttons are purple. If we preview this, these things should be light green. So that's how you modify those. 
a couple of other things about the theme colors just because every time I show theme colors we get the same question. If you're working with a color here, let's go to format, and you'll notice that you actually have six accent colors, and then within each accent color you're going to have a tone, right? So you can see it goes, this is 80% lighter, 16, it's kind of steps down 20%. So when you have a six accent colors, you have six accent colors, plus you have an additional five colors. So that's six colors per accent color. So that gives you 36 colors. Uh, when people are working with the design theme colors, let's come back to that. And we'll modify this one we're looking at. They'll always ask, like, what's accent one through accent six? Basically, it's just six color blotches that you have available to you. And again, because of those the, the shifting in the color, that 20% shift, you really have 36 uh, color options. And uh, there's no right or wrong way to use those. It's just basically it's six blocks to hold the colors. Generally, I use accent one as my primary color. And then I may have like an accent or complementary color that I use for accent two. Um, I may not use accent three, four, five, six for anything else. It just depends on what you want to do. Uh, I would say it's not so much that you have six colors and, and all of that, and there's no rule on how you should use them. I would just say for you, when you're working with color themes, if you're building your own templates, use those colors consistently. Say so for me, accent one is always my primary color. Accent two is always my, um, accent two is always my, uh, like secondary or complementary color. And sometimes if I know I'm not going to use three or any other colors, I might just do something like this where I just make them all white, right? So um, then th uh, this way I can kind of see that they're not being used, but that's just, you know, how I do that. The main thing is you have access to the theme colors. You can modify those buttons and the, the mouse overs that are kind of built in by default and you have other colors you can modify as well. Uh, if you have more questions about that, check out the resource document that we have. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, let's recap those tips. So the first tip, you can use the translation feature to quickly modify text in your course, and your entire course. So export that, make your changes, import it, and it'll overwrite the text. I would probably save uh, your main file first and then save your file and then maybe open up a new a duplicate version of that uh, so this way you don't overwrite your course and then can't go back and rechange it if you if you want to and then the second tip is that you can use the design theme colors to quickly modify some of those pre-built the hover states and the buttons and and whatnot all right if you have any questions you can always jump in the community ask we're always there to help you out i'm going to go ahead and pass this off to david